on the 10th anniversary of 2611 mumbai terrorist attack the people of mumbai gathered to remember the victims of the attack the mastermind of the attack hafiz saeed and his aide Zaki Rahman Lakhvi continued to enjoy free hand in Pakistan while attempting to carry out a proxy war against India. Newsweek South Asia takes a look. November 26th, the day which marks the anniversary of what can be called one of the deadliest terror attacks carried out on Indian soil, is still scarring for the victims. India marked the 10th anniversary of these attacks that led to the deaths of 166 people, including foreign nationals, while leaving 300 others injured. The attack was carried out by 10 lashkar e taiba terrorists who sailed into Mumbai from the Pakistani port city of Karachi. These attacks lasted for three days. The terrorists carried out attacks by blowing up a taxi, then splitting up in different parts of India's maximum city while some attacked the Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus railway station during rush hour. Some attacks were carried out in Leopold Cafe, Kama Hospital, the Obroi Hotel and the Taj Palace Hotel in Mumbai. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, President Ramnath Kovind, remembered the ones who lost their lives on that fateful day. A grateful nation bows to our brave police and security forces who valiantly fought the terrorists during the Mumbai attacks, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said on Twitter. The people of Mumbai gathered to remember the civilians and the men in uniform who lost their lives in the terror attacks in different parts of the city where the attacks were carried out. The victims and the survivors remembered that fateful night and also demanded justice to be served as the perpetrators of the attack Hafiz Sayyid and Zakir Rahman Lakhvi continue to roam free. Kabi Hona Aisha Lagataki Kamat Jesa Hogata, Jiseki Kamadagia, Harjaga, Jiselaga, the bomb for Gia, Asalagina, the Giatangwari, Hamla Marbadme, Hamakuda, Majabavato, Mujia, Lagnigus, Makuchakara, the Serbe bomb lagi with the Ma Marigayalti, or be the Drabarka, Itna Bura Blasta, Taxi Chitre Hogate. डायबर का मुंडी चौथे माले पर उड़ के गया था इतना बुरा धमाका था आप इस सही को जल्द से जल्द पाकिस्तान के सरकार कुछ न कुछ कार्रवाई करे मेरी जान जल रही है मेरी खून खोल रही है मास्टरमेंट खुले आम घूम रहा है अजमल का साहब ये सब तो एक मोहरा सा था काम करने ना वर्कर था लेकिन जो मास्टरमाइंड है लक्ष्मी है आप इस सही तो ये सबको जल्द से जल्द सजा सुनाए और इंडिया गवर्नमेंट कुछ न कुछ करे इसके लिए द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स गवर्नमेंट लेड बाय डोनाल्ड ट्रंप express solidarity with the victims of the attack. U.S. President took to Twitter and said that the United States stands with the people of India in their quest for justice over 26-11. The U.S. President tweeted, On the 10th anniversary of the Mumbai terror attack, the attack killed 166 innocents, including six Americans. We will never let terrorists win or even come close to winning. U.S. Secretary of State Michael Pompeo, in a statement released by U.S. Department of State, announced that the U.S. will reward up to five million U.S. dollars for information leading to the arrest or conviction of any individual involved in planning or facilitating the 2008 attack. The statement read, "The United States is committed to seeing that those responsible for this attack face justice." The Department of State Rewards for Justice program offers a new reward for up to 5 million US dollars for information leading to the arrest or conviction of any individual who was involved in planning or facilitating the 2008 Mumbai attack. Pompeo also asserted that the US will call upon Pakistan to uphold its United Nations Security Council obligation to implement sanction against terrorists responsible for this atrocity. Mr. Donald Trump should take immediate action because it is their civil, it is their citizen David Edley who had given the detailed evidence as to how the ISI of Pakistan and Lashkar Toiba has criminal conspiracy. Why America is not taking an action, putting strong sanction upon the Pakistan? That is the moot question. No doubt. 
now the pakistan america has kindly warned pakistan that they should punish the perpetrators pakistan it is the basic question is the pakistan investigating agency has to collect the evidence and they can collect the evidence through video link about the david edley which they are not doing it clearly means that pakistan is avoiding to take any stringent action against hafiz said and jakur rahman on the other hand Hafiz Said continues to enjoy a safe haven as the government, its army, its intelligence, the ISI and the judiciary giving back up to the dreaded terrorists and his outfit. He is someone who fielded candidates in the Pakistan general elections which concluded in July and was seen campaigning for his candidates. Said was designated as a terrorist by the United States back in 2012 and as a bounty of 10 million US dollars on his head it's the most unfortunate thing that till this time pakistan has not taken any action against the perpetrators of the terror attack of 26 november they have arrested some petty people and they are showing that the trial is progress eight to nine judges were transferred pakistan public prosecutor was shot dead now pakistan is saying that india is not furnishing any evidence to them I am really surprised. What type of evidence do they want? Because the criminal conspiracy was hatched on the soil of the Pakistan. It is for the Pakistan investigating agency to collect the evidence and to produce the evidence before the court, which they are not doing, and they are only asking that India should furnish it. I am very sorry to say that India has given the evidence about the terror attack. We the conspiracy was not hatched on India. Therefore, it is for the Pakistan to collect. Pakistan still continues to be a country which harbors trains and provides resources to terrorists who continue to create instability in India. The present prime minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, who has also been tagged Taliban Khan for showing his immense love and support to terror organizations. Apart from that, Pakistan army and their intelligence agency, the ISI, continue to provide shelter resources training and weapons to terror organizations which are present in pakistan other than that the differentiation of good terrorists and bad terrorists by pakistan state has also led to the country getting its aid cut by the us and getting grey listed by the fatf today pakistan is on the brink of being declared as a terror state